How were the holidays? Long time no see. Good to see you again. I have to go out. Unfortunately, even though it's raining. It's been raining the whole day, as always. I have to go to town to get some things. Uh, a new heat lamp for our turtles. Turtles? You know, I learned a few days ago that I have been pronouncing tortoise the wrong way my whole life. So I have been saying tortoise. Tortoise. So apologies if you never understood before what kind of pets I have. I don't know what it is. I always get this side right and I can't get this side to be symmetrical. Let me try it again. I actually really need to cut my hair because it's very, very dead. The ends are very dead and dry. And I've been contemplating for a while now if I should get bangs. Um, so I might, <laughs> I might try that. I might not. We'll see. And you will see the disaster that follows, I'm sure. Anyway, let me know how your Christmas went, if you celebrated, how was the new year. <laughs> I got back yesterday and we did party for New Year's in Finland. So I'm still feeling a bit fragile because I had to travel when I was not feeling the freshest. New Year's in the city is not my favorite. Like we were trying to get to a club before midnight and the lines were so long uh, that we didn't get in. But then we tried again and got in like after 2 a.m. I went to sleep pretty late. I'm still kind of catching up with life to be honest. Uh, no high expectations for today. So I need to go to town to the pet store and then to the bookstore because I'm hoping they also have journals that I want because it is the new year after all and I need a new journal. And the new year doesn't start for me officially before I do my reflection for the past year and my intentions for the next. So I hope they have them because otherwise I need to go to the city, so Eindhoven, uh, but it takes a longer time to get there so I really don't want to go there today because it's raining. Yeah, um, my outfit. I <laughs> I have no idea what this outfit is. I have this shirt that I bought over 10 years ago now from the US. It's so cute, but I paired it with my trousers. With these ones. Because I realized that I didn't wear these almost at all last year. So now I'm trying them out and if I don't feel comfortable in them, I have to declutter them. The problem I have with these is that they are quite short, but I will be wearing them with my Doc Martens, so should be fine. Anyway, enough babbling. <laughs> welcome to the new year um, of this YouTube channel and welcome to needless rants and babbling. Also, look at our really sad Christmas tree. Oh, one of the decorations has fallen off. Our landlord was very kindly taking care of our turtles. Turtles? <laughs> and our plants, but I guess he forgot to water the Christmas tree. I'm so sad because I kind of wanted to keep him because he brings a lot of light into the flat because it's so dark in here. So I don't want to take him away. I don't know why I'm saying he. So if you watched my packing video to Finland, I only took a really small backpack, like a 25 liter backpack. I don't know why, because I could have taken my 40 liter backpack. I could have still taken it as a carry-on because they never say anything about it. But for some reason I totally forgot that and I took the small backpack. So then I didn't have any room to bring back stuff like Christmas presents. So um, we got, we borrowed small suitcases from my parents. But I still didn't have room for the bedding that we got for Christmas presents. Uh, I got a few socks and like, I could have brought Finnish coffee and rye bread. I don't know. I just, I just wasn't thinking anything at that time when I was packing. Like, I was so... it was so hectic. Uh, but yeah, Christmas was really, really nice. I didn't film anything. I was thinking that I'm gonna film, but I just forgot. I totally forgot. Uh, I took a few pictures though. But hey ho, we are back. And I hope that I can make two videos a week. Because if I could make one video a day, I definitely... I can make two a week for sure. And maybe it's a bit more sustainable because one a day was, it was quite a lot, to be honest. A few things I got for Christmas, two books, The Fifth Season by Jay, no, 
in K. Jimmy'sin. This is supposed to be a post-apocalyptic, kind of like sci-fi fantasy, I'd say. Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book to the Alex Stern series. I'm really excited. I've been reading this already. Seems really good. One more book. This I bought myself. This is a Finnish book. This is the Introduction to Animal Philosophy by Elisa Aaltola. I've been speeding through this and underlining a lot of things. This is just basically what it says in the title. Introduction to Animal Philosophy. Very clear the kind of foundation essays. One of my intentions for this year is definitely learning new things and diving deep in the topics that I'm interested in, like animal rights, feminism, these kind of things. My legs are hurting, so I <laughs> so I have to be in the spirit crouch for a second. Um, I also got very fittingly an umbrella from my own, so it's a very pretty one as well. I will show you outside. I really need it because it's pouring down like hell. You know, I almost made the mistake that I always seem to make when I have errands to run. I almost forgot to eat lunch. And that would have been a disaster. That has happened so many times that I go out and I realize I'm so hungry already and then I'm like running around really hungry and angry. We don't have almost any food here now because even before we left to Finland for the holidays, we didn't do our usual grocery shopping because we were trying to like eat everything. And so the cupboards are quite empty, but I do have some tofu, so I will make a tofu sandwich. I have bread in the freezer, so. I forgot that Matti made pasta last night. Uh, let's close the door. So there is still pasta left. Okay, um, I'm gonna eat this so I don't have to make anything. This is perfect. How is this outfit looking though? Is it a bit strange? You know, I was off of Instagram for a week. I deleted Instagram, but I downloaded it again yesterday. And I already felt so bad uh, that I had to delete it again. So if I never answered you on Instagram, it's because I never have it. <laughs> During the holidays, I watched a few YouTube videos, but I didn't really scroll on social media so that was really really nice and i'd like to keep it that way to be honest but now i'll enjoy my delicious pasta and then we'll go finally it's so strange to be back because as you can probably hear it's very windy and it's raining a lot <laughs> And in Finland it was minus 18 degrees, here it's plus 10, um, so quite a change, quite a change. Can't lie, I do love snow and I do love a real winter, and for me this is not real winter, it's like a really long autumn here. This coat was totally unnecessary, as was the scarf. I'm actually getting sweaty, it's so warm in here. Where we live is surrounded by fields. So when the wind is right, it will carry the smell of the fertilizer quite strongly. So today, I'm lucky enough that it smells like More funny stories. So a woman just walked past me, just to walk really slowly in front of me, right in front of me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She was like, why did she do that? Am I the only one who gets annoyed by this? Um, if people walk right behind me i get like really anxious and if somebody walks right in front of me i get furious I didn't film anything in the pet store. I actually got really really upset and that's because there were birds in really small cages and they just looked miserable and I just can't understand why like 2024 this is the year 2024 and people are still buying birds in cages 
Like birds don't belong in cages. No animal belongs in a cage. Actually, I wanted to talk about this because I have a tortoise. Tortoise? <laughs> myself. We got Taavetti, my tortoise, when I was 11 and I sadly didn't have, at the time, I didn't have the awareness. I wasn't informed in the matter. I went vegetarian when I was 16 and vegan when I was 21. So that was quite a lot of years before that. Even though I always said I was an animal lover, I just didn't understand what it meant to get a pet lizard or even a pet from a breeder. I just think it's a huge problem that animals are brought into this world just for us. When there are millions of animals, dogs and cats and lizards and bunnies and mice that are looking for a home because they were abandoned, because their owner didn't want them anymore or couldn't have them. So even though I have a tortoise, I am not in any way trying to encourage you to get one because I don't think it's right unless it's adopted. I don't know, I just got very emotional and I'm very upset right now. Anyway, uh, coming around from that rant, I got this journal. They didn't have many options for the color and this is not necessarily my first choice, but I think it's quite fun because it's so bright. There are dots, Leuchtturm, this is the best, best brand for journals in my opinion. And you can expect a New Year's intentions video from me, but not like a hustling one. Something that would make you just feel better. I, I don't really like the concept of New Year's resolutions, but I'm trying to make this as a non-stressful thing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting to read. And, um, yeah, so thank you again, uh, Arigato. Um, hi guys, it's a few days later. So as you saw, my camera had a bit of an accident and after the fall I tried to turn it on again but it only filmed a few seconds before shutting down again and it kept doing that. So I had a bit of a meltdown because I thought my camera was broken, my dear dear camera. But now it seems to be working okay again, so I don't know what happened, I just hope it's fine. Safe to say my 2024 hasn't started in the best way and i actually feel very unmotivated usually i love the feel of a new beginning a clean slate but this year i'm just so unsure about my future i have no idea what i'm gonna do like i don't know where i'm gonna live this year what i'm gonna do this year and i find it very hard to like reflect on the past year because it was so crazy even though it was amazing i loved 2023 it was so full of adventures i was traveling all the time it was a dream, but now I just really don't know my next chapter, what my next step should be. And I just feel this immense pressure to choose. And I like to think that life is full of possibilities. Obviously, I'm very privileged, so I have a lot of opportunities, but right now it just feels really overwhelming. And I just would want somebody to tell me what to do but I know that I have to choose myself. If you are not having the best 2024 so far, just know that it's okay. Honestly, there's way too much emphasis on the new year, in my opinion. Like you can start again anytime, any month, any day, any like time of the day as well, not in the morning only. So I'm going to the gym now, hopefully I will feel better. Before I go, I just want to share with you a song that really impacted me. I found it a few weeks ago. It has very beautiful background music and then a person is talking and the message is just life-changing or at least eye-opening. I'm just gonna read a little bit of it because it made me cry. You came here with a sense of awe and wonder, dying to just see what it's about. You know, it's like, what would it be like to be down there, to be part of it? And you came here with sense of wonder and somehow the wonder of it wasn't enough and we stopped wondering and started to wonder about ourselves. And in your wondering about yourself, you forgot what you came here for, what you came to be part of. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye guys. <laughs>